The Lucy Show, starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. fire department meetings is the refreshments. Viv, if you don't keep away from those brownies, your side of the fire truck is gonna tip over. <laughs> Come now. Hi, Mom. Hi. 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 Hello there. Well, Karen. what went on in school today, dear? The same old jazz. <laughs> Boy, that Billy Simmons is sure full of baloney. What do you mean? Oh, today at recess, Billy said his mother told him that your volunteer softball team was gonna play a game this Saturday. And I said, that's crazy, because the season's been over for a month. And he said, I don't care, it's so. And I said, you're all wet. And he said, you take that back. And I said, make me. And he said, okay, put up your fist. And then what happened? Recess ended. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sherman, I hate to tell you this, darling, but Billy was right. The Ridgeberry Volunteer Fire Department women's team has challenged our team. And we're going to play a postseason game Saturday. For charity. Now you tell me. Well, we'll get tickets for you fellas, and you can go to the game. No thanks. I don't think I want to go either. Why? Why not? Well, gee, we went to every game this season, and you and Aunt Lucy never got to play once. Well... It was the most humiliating summer I've ever spent. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just so happens that we're going to play in this game, so you'll be able to hold your head up once again. Thank goodness. That's me. Hey, look, Granny. Boy, I love these committee meetings. <laughs> Lucy, why did you tell them we were going to play in the game Saturday? Because we are. What do you mean? Look, why did we sit on the bench all season? Because the manager claimed we weren't any good. Exactly. <laughs> and who was the manager? Audrey Simmons. So you see, it had nothing to do with ability. It was politics. I know, girl, but there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, yes, there is, and I already did it. What? I stopped by the hardware store this morning, and I asked Mr. Crescent to be our new manager, and he accepted. Oh, that's great. He'll let us play. I figure Audrey can't object to the manager who won the championship for the boys' league. What if she does object? Listen, I am captain of the volunteers, and if Audrey Simmons says one word to me, so help me out. Hi. Audrey, darling. Hello, dear. Hello, Granny. Hi, nice, Hi, to Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Franny. Hi, Lucy. Well, girls, are we going to win the big game tomorrow? You bet we are. And what are we going to do to Ridgeberry? Smash them, bust them. That's our custom. Danfield Fire Bell. Yay! <laughs> Store on the way over, and they want some more tickets for the game. It's almost a sellout. That's great. Wonderful. I have some good news, too. The Danfield Chamber of Commerce wants to donate a prize. Every member of the winning team gets a shiny new axe. Oh, my God. Listen, with all those people coming and everything, I wish we could do something about new uniforms. Our old ones look so tacky. Oh, I know. Mine's absolutely threadbare. If I have to slide into one more base Saturday, the game could be raided. <laughs> Uh, my uniform is in very good shape. Mine, too. Wait a minute. I have a wonderful idea. My cousin Elliot manages the Danfield High baseball team, but their season's over, so we can borrow the uniforms from them. That's a marvelous idea. We look just like big leaguers. I'll call him tonight. Now, let's see what else is there. Oh, there. Here's the starting lineup. Now, you'll give this to the printer for the program. Okay. Audrey, any new faces in the lineup? No, it's the same wonderful team that did such a bang-up job for us this summer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, in that case, then, Viv, before you take that to the printer, you better wait and get the new lineup from the new manager. New manager? Yes, Mr. Crescent, he's holding tryouts tomorrow, and he's going to choose his own lineup. Who asked him to be the new manager? I did, by the authority vested in me as captain of the volunteer fire department. I fail to see the connection. Your authority does not extend to the baseball diamond. 
Well, now let me put it this way, Audrey. Uh, isn't it your turn next month to drive the fire truck? Yes. Well, there could be a little change in that lineup, too. You wouldn't. <laughs> How about refreshments, girl? Buddy, I'm starved. afternoon for the big game and I thought maybe you could give me some pointers. Okay. Well, I thought I'd try out for shortstop since that's what I played all season. What? <laughs> well, that's what I would have played if I'd played. Okay. What would you like to know? Well, first, what does a shortstop do? What does a shortstop do? Well, I know that he picks up the ball and he throws to the bases and he makes outs and things like that. But I mean, what can I do to show off in front of Mr. Crescent? A double play is pretty flashy. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. How's that work? Well, here's second base, yeah. and here's shortstop. Uh huh. I catch the ball, run to second, and throw to first. Oh, yeah. Let's see now. I'd better practice that. Now, this is the second base, and the shortstop is in here, and I scoop up the ball, and I touch second base, and I throw to first. You've got to do that a whole lot faster. Oh, well, I probably could do it better if you'd throw me the ball. Okay. Go ahead, now. You throw me the ball. I'm shortstop over here, and you throw me a sizzling grounder. And I scoop it up, and I touch second base, and I throw it. <laughs> hey! It must have ricocheted off the porch. That isn't our ball. It isn't. Well, hey, why not? Uh, is this your ball? Yeah, is this your ball? Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. Sherman was showing me how to be a pitcher. Yeah, Jerry was showing me how to be a shortstop. I throw a great knuckleball, but Sherm says it's illegal. Yeah, hey, we better be going. We haven't got time to practice anymore. Anyway, we're about out of window. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks for the help, Jerry. Thank you, darling. See you later. Oh, boy, Audrey Simmons is in for the surprise of her life. Uh -huh. <laughs> How's your mom? Can she really pitch? Well, let's put it this way. Sandy Koufax doesn't have a thing to worry about. <laughs> How's your mom? I'm already to be humiliated again. <laughs> practice to know where the strength is. So, there is your starting lineup. Uh, where do we play? Which one? Where do we play? Oh, 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 where are you? Where are you? Where am I? Where am I? And your first place. Back on the bench again. Some manager he is. That's the same lineup Audrey Simmons used all season. All right, team, let's go out on the field. Let's go. <laughs> Mr. Crescent, do you mean to tell me that out of 11 players, we are the worst? Well, let me put it this way. Yes. <laughs> you don't know a baseball player when you see one. We can't be that bad. Well, that's what I thought, but you certainly surprised me. <laughs> Mr. Crescent, 
Do you realize that in the last six months I have spent $86.72 in your hardware store? And do you realize that for the last six months I've been trying to collect? Well, if you're gonna hound me, how can I play baseball? <laughs> Lucy, I'll bet we're the only two players in the world who spent their entire baseball career sitting on the bench. Yeah. They may hang our pants in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Mr. Crescent, as captain of our volunteer fire department, I can only hope you never have a fire in your hardware store. <laughs> Insulting the manager is hardly the way to get in the lineup. I would suggest that you two practice with the team. If there's one thing in the world I don't have to practice, it's how to sit. <laughs> hello, Mr. Crescent. Oh, hello, Mrs. Edwards. Say, aren't you just a little bit late for practice? Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Crescent, but you see, I just came from my doctor and... Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to play Saturday. Well, something wrong? Oh, no, no. Everything's just fine. Well, why can't you play? Well, uh... Babbitt! You mean that you're... Congratulations, I hope it's a boy. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, Babbitt. This is your fifth, isn't it? Oh, no, my sixth. Your sixth. Oh, I'll bet your husband's so happy. Oh, my goodness, I forgot to tell him. <laughs> well, somebody ought to tell him. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> isn't that wonderful? I never had this problem with a boys' team. <laughs> hey, that means that one of us gets to play in the outfield. Oh, I can play, I can play left field. That's my best position. No, left you're field. no outfielder, Viv. You're a catcher. How do you know? You're built like a catcher. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can play outfield, Mr. Crescent. I didn't miss a ball all season. Neither did I. Wait a minute. You two didn't play all season. So what? I'm your outfielder. I'm your outfielder. Oh, yeah? Yes, I now, am. Wait, Come on, please, put me in. ladies, ladies, I've watched your feeling during practice. Believe me, it's hard to choose. Well, you gotta choose one of us. We're all that's left. Don't rub it in. <laughs> well, actually, since you're both equal, I suppose I should give the position to the best hitter. I'm the best hitter. You are not. I'm yes, the best hitter. I am. I'm I the am the best better. Hitter. I'm the best hitter. I know, I know. You went all season without a strikeout. Excuse me. No, put me in, coach. No, put me in, coach. Put me in. Oh, wait, ladies, me out there. Really and I'm going to hit like a... You're stretching my alpaca. <laughs> Come on, holy cow. All right, I have an idea. There is a batting machine down at the amusement park. Now, why don't you two go down there and whoever gets the most hits off of the machine will be the center fielder, okay? Batting machine, that's a great idea. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> batting machine. Uh-huh. Okay, Viv, you go ahead. Then you come back and tell me how many hits you made, and then I'll go. Okay. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't. No, sir, we're going together so we can check on each other. Boy, don't you trust anybody? Almost anybody. <laughs> All right, then we'll go together. Fine. Two hits, I got one. <laughs> well, anyway, I win. I get to play. How about another 50? Oh, no, now. You've already conned me into another 50 because I was ahead. <laughs> All right, Viv, if you don't want to be fair. Oh, oh, for heaven's sake. Anybody can hit those slow ones, for heaven's sake. The real test comes when you turn this machine up to major league speed. What makes you think you could hit major league speed when you've already missed 99 slow balls? <laughs> the only reason you beat me is because you're a blue pitter. I'm a slugger, and us sluggers kill fast balls. <laughs> okay, slugger. One more turn, but that's it. Okay. Put your 50 cents in. It's your turn for that. Well, oh, I gotta get some change. Okay, go ahead. I'll wait here. Oh, no. You're coming with me. Why? Because you still got 50 cents, and I want to be sure that while I'm gone, you don't take a warm-up turn. Oh, <laughs> boy, do you have a crooked mind. <laughs> now, go on, get going. Oh, now... Go on.
there. Oh, I'm talking about the fair. Oh, boy. <laughs> I get to play. I get to play. Oh! Catcher. <laughs> no, it belongs to the star pitcher, Art Thompson. Everybody calls him Moose. <laughs> they call him that or he is one. <laughs> on your shoulders. Okay, coach. Suppose by any chance Babette could have had her baby yet. <laughs> well, I hardly think so. Bye, yeah. Mom. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael. to play center field, and you're gonna pinch hit for Francis. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, everybody. Oh, Lucy's gonna go in. Out of the way, everybody. Oh, out of the way. Out of the way. Oh, 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 for heaven's sake, Lucy. All right, Lucy. We're 
standing in the batter's box. I wasn't standing, I was hopping. Well, if you want to hop, do your hopping outside the batter's box. I'll hop any place I happen to want to. You keep on hopping, the pitcher will keep on pitching. You show me in the rule book where hopping is not allowed in the batter's box. Show me that. <laughs> Ooh. Take your base. What? Hit by a pitch ball. Take your base. Oh, yeah. You're winning. You drove in a run. Well, and you thought I couldn't hit. <laughs> Take your base. better this way. <laughs> Mr. Crescent, the rules say that there have to be nine players. I know, I know. Ah. You see, the sun really is bad, Mr. Crescent. I'm not looking at the sun. I'm hoping for rain. <laughs> oh. Okay, on with the game. Clear the field. You see the trouble you got me into? <laughs> You're supposed to be playing left field now. Will you get over there and play it? All right. I'll play it. Play ball! Play okay. ball! Vivian Vance.
volunteer fire department meetings is the refreshments. Viv, if you don't keep away from those brownies, your side of the fire truck is going to tip over. <laughs> Come now. Hi, Mom. Hi, Hi honey. Hello, there. Well, what went on in school today, dear? The same old jazz. <laughs> Boy, that Billy Simmons is sure full of baloney. What do you mean? On oh, a day at recess, Billy said his mother told him that your volunteer softball team was going to play a game this Saturday. And I said, that's crazy, because the season's been over for a month. And he said, I don't care, it's so. And I said, you're all wet. And he said, you take that back. And I said, make me. And he said, OK, put up your fist. And then what happened? Recess ended. <laughs> <laughs> Sherman, I hate to tell you this, darling, but Billy was right. The Ridgeberry Volunteer Fire Department women's team has challenged our team, and we're going to play a postseason game Saturday. For charity. Now you tell me. Well, we'll get tickets for you fellas, and you can go to the game. No, thanks. I don't think I want to go either. Why? Why not? Well, gee, we went to every game this season, and you and Aunt Lucy never got to play once. Well... It was the most humiliating summer I've ever spent. <laughs> to play in this game so you'll be able to hold your head up once again. Thank goodness. That's me. Hey, look, Granny. Boy, I love these committee meetings. <laughs> Lucy, why did you tell them we were going to play in the game Saturday? Because we are. What do you mean? Look, why did we sit on the bench all season? Because the manager claimed we weren't any good. Exactly. <laughs> and who was the manager? Audrey Simmons. So you see, it had nothing to do with ability. It was politics. I know, girl, but there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, yes, there is, and I already did it.